Yo GCSE, in the previous video, I showed you all of these five rules and then I explained to you how they're operating. Now, let's uh, apply them to some quite tricky questions that could come up in your GCSE. I think it's really useful for you to look at really difficult questions because then all the standard ones will come across really easy. Now, if you haven't seen my video already on this, I recommend you go back and check it out. So, question one, a evaluate one third to the power of minus three. Okay, what's a very common mistake students do? If they don't know their rules, they'll just multiply this by the negative. They'll say minus a third, and then they will cube that. Yeah, remember, this is all non-calculator as well. Well, we're going to be applying rule five here. How did I remember? Well, remind. Well, how did I explain it to you guys so you remember it? I said negative powers reciprocals j cole flipping like reciprocals. Yeah, flipping, meaning whatever's in the numerator is gonna exchange or flip with the denominator. They're gonna do a swap. So the one in the numerator is gonna go to the denominator and the three in the denominator is gonna go to the numerator. So it's gonna look like this. Yeah, so we flip these, flipping like reciprocals. Once we've done the reciprocal, you can just cross it out. But we still have that cubed, right? Okay, so we have three over one. Three over one is just three. Cubing that, 27. Yeah, three times three is nine, times another three, 27. Now, if you're in a non-calculator paper, how are you evaluating this? One thing's for sure is you're not doing eight multiplied by itself six times. And you're not doing 32 multiplied by itself three times. What you do, is you notice that both of these numbers are powers of two. Eight is two cubed, and 32 is two to the power of five. If two cubed is eight, times another two, 16, times another two, 32. But remember, there's the power six and the power three, so we need to use a bracket. Okay, now, we're using rule three. When you take a number raised to a power, raised to another power, we multiply the powers. And same thing here, two to the power five, raised to the power three, we multiply them. All right, three times six is 18, divided by five times three is 15. Okay, now we can use rule two. When you take two numbers with the same base and you divide them, we subtract the powers. So you have 18, minus 15, which is three, which we already know is eight. And that's how we evaluate that one. All right, let's get to this pretty tricky simplification question. But if you're enjoying today's video, guys, make sure you're subscribed and like the video if you want more content like this. And if you wanna learn more about my own courses, my own GCSE courses, then check the link in the description. So for this question, I wanna simplify this. Bit of bid mass, we're gonna evaluate what's inside the brickets first. Now the thing about this is you can actually simplify the 6a and the 2a, but naturally most students would be simplifying what's on the top first, because there is like an invisible bracket here. Okay, so how do we do that? When we multiply, we're gonna multiply the numbers first. Six times nine is 54. Then we have a to the power of seven, but there's no a's over here. So we're just left with a to the power of seven b squared times b, remember that's b to the power of one. So here we're gonna use rule one. When we are multiplying two numbers with the same base, b for base, we're gonna add the powers, two plus one is three. Divided by two a raised to the power of a third. Okay, now we're dividing two numbers. So we have 54 divided by two is 27 a to the power of seven divided by a to the power of one. Okay, well we subtract the powers. We'll have a to the power of six. And then you're just left with b cubed to the power of a third. Now, how do you distribute this power of a third? If you remember from the last video, this uh, application of the bracket, you're just doing a repeated multiplication, okay? Now this is a repeated multiplication of a power of a third. 
in the next video, we're going to look at properly what does it mean by fractional powers. But the denominator essentially tells you what route you're taking. Yeah, so power of a third, this three means we're doing the cube root. We're doing the cube root of everything that's in here. But because this is all multiplication, we're just going to cube root all of these individual uh, terms. So essentially what's going on is this. We can rewrite this as, whoops, 27 to the power of a third. You can write as a to the power of six to the power of a third. Then you have b cubed to the power of a third. So remember, that denominator essentially tells you what root you're taking. We're doing the cube root of 27, which we actually already know is three. Okay. These two are just applications of rule three. Another way you guys could have actually done this is you could have said, look, even if you didn't know that power of one third means cube root, check this out. You could have said, look, 27 is three cubed. Then look, you're just multiplying the powers. Yeah, rule three, you're just multiplying those powers. So these cancel out, you're left with three. We're gonna multiply these powers by rule three. Six or a third of six is two, so we have a squared. Then by the same argument, the threes and the third cancels, we are left with b. And that is uh, simplified. So guys, if you enjoyed this video on indices, I'm gonna keep proving more for you. Make sure you're subscribed and like the video for more. And if you wanna know more about my courses, head to, this, head to the description. Nice.